Hey guys, Adam Wormsley here from Autodesk. Today I'm going to take you through a workflow where we start to use a uh, review workflow in BIM 360 Docs to control the flow of information from Civil 3D to the ArcGIS environment. I've been speaking to some people and there's no real approval process in place at the moment to stop uh, anyone from publishing or overriding a GIS data set from, from Civil 3D. It's quite easy to just use the save back functionality uh, and overwrite um, some model changes. So um, I've come up with a way that we can use a review workflow in BIM 360 to add a bit of constraint around that. So I'm going to show you how that looks. So uh, what I've done is I've consumed some information from uh, GIS and if I look at uh, the extended data you can see here under property sets that um, I have all this GIS information that has come in so I know that I've consumed that information from the GIS environment there's a lot of really useful information in that space so what I'm going to do is make some changes to this so let's say we've received this GIS information uh, we've now gone into uh, the model we've made some changes and you know we want to upload this these changes back to the cloud but we need to seek approval for that to happen before we overwrite the data. So if we come up to here and go to file save as, <clears throat> what's going to happen is we can navigate through to BIM 360, find our project folder and save the file where we need to save it. So I'm going to just call this pipe design hit save. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to upload to BIM 360 and it's going to go via the desktop connector. So you can see if you open up the desktop connector that there's information that shows you what is actually happening. And it's really, really useful to have this window open when you're working with the BIM 360 design collaboration for Civil 3D module. Um, it, it really helps you understand what's happening in the background. So once that file has finished uploading, what we're going to do is just get out of this. We don't need this DWG anymore. And we're going to jump back over to BIM 360 Docs uh, in the web browser. So what I've gone and done is set up um, and an approval workflow. So over in the project admin area, I've come across to reviews. And you can see here that I have a couple set up. I'm going to go into my GAS approval workflow and just show you the basics of what's happening. So I've set myself as the initiator. I've made Ed the um, approver, and this is a one-step workflow here. And most importantly, once the document has been approved, it's going to move across and a copy of the DWG is going to be placed in this folder, which I've created and specified myself. Uh, so what you'll see after I go through the review is that um, the DWG will move into the approved for upload folder. So back to uh, docs here, you can see that the pipe underscore design DWG uh, is now visible um, in the browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to start a review on that. So let's submit it for review, select my GIS workflow. Don't need to add any more information here unless you want to. And I'm just going to submit that to Ed. And you can also add other people on this if you need to. So that review has now been initiated. And I'm going to open up another browser here. I've got um, Edge running. <clears throat> and I've got, I'm logged in as um, Ed the engineer up in the top right hand corner. So now uh, if I jump over to the reviews tab under document management, you can see that there is an open review here for me to look at. And this is the one that I've just created. So <clears throat> the, the reviewer has the ability to uh, view the DWG in the browser uh, and they can use the tools that they will be familiar with such as dimensioning and markups and uh, texts and call outs and things like that to communicate any other information here. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start this review uh, and assume that everything's fine and we will approve it to show you what happens. So set that a status to approved <coughs> and we're going to submit it. We can add some notes here, but you can also see that it's saying approved documents will be copied to that folder right there, which is what we want. 
that's been submitted and you'll see here that the action upon completion will change to say that the file has been copied. There you go, it's been copied. So if we just jump back out of Edge into Chrome, um, I'm back logged in as myself here. If I now jump over to my approved for upload folder, you'll see that this file has been copied across uh, it's been updated by Ed the Engineer and its status has been set to approved. So what I'm going to do is go back over to Civil 3D and uh, navigate to the uh, approved for upload folder. And now I can see that, that that DWG lives in there and we're just going to open that in Civil 3D. So now we've got the file that has been approved. We have the confidence that what changes we've made to this design file are okay. Everybody's happy. And then what we have the ability to do is connect that back to um, our GIS database. So going to the data source manager, you can see here <clears throat> that uh, I'm publishing this information. So pipe and structure. Um, and all I'm going to do is click save back and save it back to um, the database. So once that's finished uploading, I can now close that window and if I open up my uh, version of ArcGIS Online, you can see that the changes are now visible in the uh, GIS uh, view. And also worth mentioning that the Civil 3D objects that I have uploaded and all of the metadata has come across with it uh, really quite nicely. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a walkthrough of this workflow of how you can start to put approval of process in place to control the information flow from Civil 3D uh, and back to ArcGIS Online. Thank you.